The Commonwealth is a very influential community comprising at least a couple of um, G7 countries and by working with uh, small island states globally, they can help us to amplify our voice in the international community as we seek to address this very significant existential threat of climate change that all of humanity uh, have to contend with. In fact, we are on the front lines of, con of um, climate change and um, we recognize that we do not have the resources, either the human or the financial resources to effectively mitigate and adapt to the effects of climate change. So this is where we need um, partners to include those in the Commonwealth to help us, to help us with the technology, to help us with the funding so that we can effectively, um, you know, mitigate and certainly adapt to the effects of um, climate change. Uh, so the Commonwealth as a family is very important uh, to small island states globally. The um, Commonwealth um, Access Hub, Finance Access Hub, in which they have provided technical expertise to member states and that in itself has helped us to unlock the climate financing that is available globally. I mean, a lot of it is tied up in um, bureaucratic um, structures and um, they've helped us to build um, capacity so that we could um, increase our access to climate financing. Uh, so technical assistance is certainly one of the areas in which um, the Secretariat would have assisted us in a significant way. And the Secretariat too would have been successful in raising the necessary supporting funding in order to provide that technical assistance. So I certainly want to uh, commend um, the Commonwealth and of course um, the distinguished um, Secretary General, uh, Baroness Scotland, who has done a great job in assisting us to build capacity in this uh, very critical area.